Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. Nice, I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Oh. Follow us on our official Twitter account. Subscribe if you haven't hit the like button. How are things on Twatland? Poisonous as ever? No. Really? I don't know. You're on Twitter all the time. I just you? wanted to say, I don't know, Rick. Uh, today, we got... I had somebody message me and say, hey, it's me. I was talking to you on Twitter. Like, <laughs> no, you weren't. Nope. It was me. Uh, today we got a, a new Priyanka video. And this is... Yay! Uh, she's doing a lot with Vogue. Uh, and, yes, she is. But she's doing is, a lot with a lot of things, man. Priyanka Chopra Jonas makes a three-course brunch. Awesome. Uh, so it's, uh, <laughs> I don't know if she's cooking Indian food. I don't know if she's cooking... Uh, well, she's got a restaurant, so she... Who knows? I, a lot of people have restaurants. They don't cook. It's true. Gordon Ramsay doesn't cook. I know. Doesn't, doesn't cook. cook. I mean, he is him and Wolfgang Puck. I mean, everybody thinks they're chefs, but... Or, look, Wolfgang, fuck you. Here we go. <laughs> you sounded like Roman. <laughs> many skills are in my strong suit. <gasps> Ooh, this is hard. That's what she said. <laughs> Sir. Hi, dog. I'm Priyanka, and today I'm going to be serving you a three-course brunch. The first course is going to be an aperitif, which oh. comprises of a aperitif. Bloody Maria, and then bloody Maria. we're going to do an spouche of a cereal spectacular, and then last but not the least, uh, a Chopra family tradition from when I was a child. My dad used to make this every Sunday. It's good old stuffed omelette. Stuff it with anything. I stuffed your mom's omelette. So yep, for last a night. Good bloody Maria, you will need lots of ice. Salt, pepper, a little bit of lemon juice, okay. um, garnish, okay. Worcestershire sauce, the okay. yeah. main ingredient. It's probably in my bag. Cocaine? Yeah. Vodka? Um, never leave home without her. Hot ah, sauce. okay. Tabasco sauce. As much as you'd like, and obviously tomato juice and whatever tequila you like. Tequila? Mine's my husband's. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna Some people the make. Mixer. I've never had a Bloody Mary with tequila. It's not I'm a Bloody Mary. It's a Bloody Maria. Well, fuck you. Is it tequila? So that might be why it's a Bloody Maria. It's because it's tequila. That's racist. So I love a good Bloody Maria. Of course, it can be a Bloody Mary too. But um, when I got married, I, I love heard Bloody Marys. In the whispers I don't. of the Jonas family, that there's something called the hair of a dog. Yes. I'm not American. I didn't know what that meant. Yes. You drink more to, to make it go away. It's a Bloody Mary. <laughs> yeah, you drink. Something That's the next the day. If you have a hangover, you drink more and it'll go away. Great theory. America! <laughs> Just like our gun rules. <laughs> exactly. Bloody Maria. Splash. Worcestershire sauce. Tabasco. Yes. Please be careful with how much you put in. I like it rather spicy. Rock and roll. So Holy I'm happy shit. With That's what I would do right there, 100%. Keep going, girl. A lot. Yes. I always uh then, liked making Bloody Mary. <laughs> I hate Bloody Marys. I adore them. Oh, boy. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of daytime drinks in any way, shape, or form, except for that um, one at a mimosa. Really good at it's not a daytime drink. It's a morning I drink. I think you always like spicy Brunch is daytime. That's so funny. If the sun's That's up, great. it's daytime. I'm a big fan of day drinking. Jesus. <laughs> good. Ooh. I want to try yeah. that. Now that I have this, I have the courage to get onto the serious cooking. I'm not someone who can cook. I'm going <clears> to <throat> attempt it today. Are you so even for the Indian? Bush, my cereal spectacular. We're gonna need a base cereal. A moose bush is such a rich person thing to say. Cereal. I'm not a big cereal and fan. We have a choice of milk you would like. This is a two percent. Oh yes. Breast milk. Might need a bowl. It's my my choice. And maybe a I like goat breast milk. I usually like to have a little bit of a sweeter, spectacular flair. This is a honey nut crunchy cereal, which I'm gonna put inside right now. That's what she said. Just for flair, as you can see, the ratio of cereal to cereal is crucial. I just have my flair cereal on top. Wait, is she making cereal? And we go in there. <laughs> and this is your 
for brunch. Cereal. She's combining two cereals. This is how you make cereal. <laughs> Have a Bloody Maria and a bowl of cereal. Wow, I'm surprised she was able to make that. Oh God. That's tough. It's impressive. Oh, this one, That's one of the most though. difficult things so I've ever seen on a cooking show. Mangoes, Priyanka. Stuff. What the? Indian breakfast she made is cereal. My favorite. <laughs> I love a good paratha. I love a good dosa. But eggs, I think, are universally the best breakfast. Had them this thing. morning. So the ingredients I don't that like omelets. Are Me too. I prefer eggs, just eggs. Same. I'm going to stuff it with sausages. I'm, I'm not a big omelet. I stuffed omelet your mom fan. with my sausage. What do you like, depending on your palate? Cheese. Again, whatever kind of cheese you'd like. Mine is pepper jack. Butter. <sighs> Because the best omelets are made with butter. The best, everything is made with butter, including babies. Milk. Did I say salt and pepper? Salt and pepper. And, of course, it could go with toast. I like a little tamarind chutney on my toast. Ooh. And you can also use sambal. What? What is that? Is that like a chutney? So let's get started. I bet it is. If my wife was here, task. she'd tell us. I have a very, very discerning palate. Um, I like all kinds of food, but I'm just not good at She doing. made cereal. Like, color and color <laughs> my strong Sorry. suit. That's I know. Just... I'm with you. <laughs> and this is how you make cereal. <laughs> a Bloody Maria <laughs> and a good bowl good. of cereal. <laughs> because tequila and milk go so well together. At least this is actually making yeah. something. We're going to flush the eggs. Are we fluffing? You know? <laughs> I think my dad grew up in a conservative family and saw a lot of the girls having to always feel like they needed to be in the kitchen and it was like societal pressure. So he did not want me to grow up like that. So he discouraged it. He was like, "Why? what are you doing in the kitchen? You don't come, 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 come in. So I just never learned it. Thanks, dad. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was novel. <laughs> I think fluffy eggs are awesome with milk. That's a good thing to do for your omelet. Bit of salt and pepper, I think. If I need more, I can add it afterwards. My gosh, these big knives are so scary. <laughs> <laughs> I've not been using them for this purpose. I recently. I love how she's going like that without a serrated. As if it's serrated. <laughs> She really doesn't know how to cook, does she? No. <laughs> wow. Limes have a very different meaning on that show. Okay, now we're gonna cook our lovely sausage. Oh, I thought those were the mushrooms. I'm trying to do it as elegantly as possible. Roll off. Gosh. Ah! <laughs> it's making Why aren't noise. you drinking your Bloody Maria? Okay, what am I doing with this burnt sausage? <laughs> I am putting in the mushroom. Fry that. So what we're going to do about flavor will be... Where's the onion? The chili And the garlic. Which will give it, like, a crisp crunch for those who are not a faint heart. Oh, our daughter is a food dingy, thank God. You know, we take her with us wherever she goes and she eats whatever we eat. So she loves lamb chops, she's had Korean barbecue, she eats um, awesome. Indian food. She needs a variety in her food and if you give her grilled chicken and steamed veggies, she won't eat it. It's crazy. I, I feel like I look ready for eggs. Let them kind of live together. This is the only thing that I feel competent <laughs> doing in the kitchen. So suddenly my confidence came up. <laughs> I think it's time to put in the cheese as your garnish, however much you want. And chilies, because I like my spice. Mm. Woo! This is hard. That's a that's a stuffed omelet. She's dis oh my gosh. Okay. Um, she was slightly dismembered for a second, but we put her back together. Um, I'm very proud of this <laughs> stuffed omelet. Right, I'm gonna get toast. Look at this beautiful brioche. Brioche, beautiful, yummy, clouds of flavor. What everybody adds in the morning, brioche so, bread. Right, exactly. Yeah. Your rich is coming out, so, bro. <laughs> tamarind chutney is a very southern Indian flavor. It adds like a tangy, sweet and sour sort of punch to your bread. There's something about um, hmm. sweet and salty and um, chili and sweet that is really yummy to me. So that's why, because we've used chilies, we're gonna use a little tamarind chutney. 
Careful. Tamarind chutney. Ready? Oh, okay. Then we are going to. I want to taste that. Take I've cooked with tamarind omelet. before. It's interesting. Place it. Hopefully, prettily. Beautiful. Oh, Beautiful plating. Sample <laughs> for flavor. If somebody would like it. Little chili. That's our entree. <laughs> there you go. A little watered down, but you know, still standing strong. Now let's get into this beautiful omelette with the brioche. Ooh, it's stuffed. <sighs> She's like, oh, it's oh, terrible. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I can't not cook. I can. Why are you eating so that I when you could have the cereal? <laughs> we didn't burn the place down. Yay! All right, now I'm off to a premiere. How's yummy? Don't waste that! I'm most impressed by her cereal. 100%. Making. I am just floored at the culinary capacity. Why did she call cereal? One, why are you making cereal? That's in first. A, in a cooking show. Two, right. why are you calling it the amuse bouche? Yes. And why are you making that part of um, your brunch with a with a bloody Maria? I'm gonna have before I have my omelet. I'm gonna have a bowl of cereal. <laughs> that was weird. It was weird, but I like it because I think it's pretty dang genuine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can't can't falter for that. That's being pretty darn genuine. Her, she uh, likes the adding the two cereals together. Her rich was coming out for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The calling cereal an amuse bouge and um, having brioche bread as your toast. I I actually it. I love brioche well, bread, but that's not a normal right. toast bread. No, unless you're rich because it's an expensive bread. I also find um, I love and I think it's maybe more common than not in certain places in India for women to to not be, have uh, kitchen cooking skills necessarily. Yeah, and it's not. It has nothing to do necessarily with economics. Example, Indrani didn't really start cooking until we got married, and she came here. <laughs> Brianna is so unserious. Three course meal with cereal. Yes, I of wouldn't course. call her unserious. Okay. No, she. she Let's was, calm down there. That's right. She, I think she's yeah. funny. Yeah, I think she did. I did too. She has a very good sense of. I humor. think she was being. Uh, but yeah. Cooking, she's being very cooking genuine. cereal on a on a. But yeah, so, so Indrani didn't hurt. She too. She she didn't. She, and part of that was because, like a lot of families, um, you have you have people that you've you've hired that are doing the cooking for yeah. the family and doing cleaning for the family. It's really common. Well, in it's the, common with my generation for people in general to not know how to cook. Yeah, uh, a lot of not my not my wife. My wife is a very good cook uh, and always has been. Um, maybe it's because she was raised in the South. And obviously with other females who really know how to cook. It's funny, though. Even though my mom always tried to get all of our family to cook, I never was never interested mm -hmm. in cooking. I'm, yeah. I, I find it – I don't get stressed a lot. I get stressed while cooking because I don't know what I'm doing mm -hmm. at all, and I'm afraid I'm going to burn something. Sure. Um, but once all of us went to college, all me and my brothers – I have three brothers – all of them have now – got a interest in cooking and have become actually very good cooks. Mm. I'm the only one that has just, <laughs> I still can't do shit. <laughs> I'm like, apparently you can't mess up eggs. I've burnt eggs before. It's really well, bad. yeah, you can, you can mess anything up that's being placed over a fire. Uh, apparently, yeah. apparently I cook eggs too long sometimes. No. <laughs> My wife makes it. That happens. Of, My wife makes fun. Well, are you trying to make them over hard? Like, do you like the yolks to be... No. Runny, or do you prefer them hard? Well, I definitely don't like them runny. Okay, sure. well then, there you go. You're, you're leaving them on a little extra time. Well, my wife doesn't like them runny either, and she doesn't burn them. No. <laughs> yeah, I love to cook. I, I'm not. I don't. Um, so when I'm, I had a YouTube channel that I cook. I know. When you're when I'm <laughs> when I'm cooking things that are new, a new recipe, that's a little bit stressful for me. Once I have the finished product, and it turns out like there's a, a chicken cacciatore recipe that I found that's glorious i love making that mm -hmm. and then i have some standard things that are really simple that we make at home as does indrani what's awesome is we're both mine my go-to is going to be my people it's going to be italian and her go-to is going to be bengali so we mix it up 
and we eat a lot of fish. We eat a lot of, sometimes I'll make pasta. Fish but, and O's. Yes. Fish and O's. No cereal. That's I don't, actually, there's no cereal in my actually, house, actually. They, they actually have a cereal in Bengal called Fish O's. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. I used to eat cereal for dessert. What are you, Priyanka? No, for dessert, not for breakfast. It's a, it's a horrid, horrid creature for nutritional aspects of starting your day. You don't eat it for nutrition. You eat it because it's tasty. Well, it's been marketed in America as the great way for kids to start their day. No, it hasn't. It's just they know kids like sweet things. Not a great way to start your day. They never claimed that. Yes, they did. No. That's how they've marketed it. No, they marketed it as, hey, kids, see these shiny, colorful cereals? It's a great way to start your day. No. Yep. It's just kids want it because it's tasty. Captain Crunch? Oh, fucking balls, bro. <laughs> 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 Anyways, uh, that was fun. Uh, fun video. Yeah. Uh, don't make cereals an appetizer. That's weird. <laughs> hey, if that's your thing, <laughs> more power to you, Priyanka. But hats off to you. On that would the, be so uh, fun if you went over to her house and she was presenting something for you to eat that day and she brought you the mixed cereals. I'm going to make I, you I this would, thing I love. <laughs> I would genuinely love if she did it with seriousness like that. And she said, this is something we do all the time. She made me the Bloody Maria. Then she busted out the cereal. I would I would look at Nick and go, this is if we ever get the, who else would do if this we ever for get you? the honor to interview Priyanka, I'm 100 percent gonna ask her about her please the cereal. Ab- I want to I want to eat that cereal with her. 100. percent That's what we'll do during your interview. Absolutely, this is our cereal. We should just do that without her even. If we get to interview her in person, we've got to bring two cereals together, and just have her eat it while, while we're talking asking to her. Questions. Absolutely, don't acknowledge it. <laughs> Absolutely, just offer her a bowl of cereal with two two things in it. Anyways, uh, it's kind of like your mom. Two things in it. Uh, let us know what other videos we can react to down below. <laughs>